again. Today I would introduce you to the recent Afar Sky product, a new RX-8R receiver. I would talk about technical specifications, its aim and conduct some tests. Let's get started. Have you ever been in such situation that you lose your signal connection to your mother? <laughs> I've personally never had an issue with the first sky equipment since I've started using it, but everything might happen. Whenever you are sure that this was caused either by other radio interference, or your model frame signal blackout, or even by the window style ground form, you should do something to protect your expensive model from such an loaded situation. So what are the solutions? First, the cheapest and even profitable. Don't fly. Seller of your RC stuff, go home, get into the bed. And Sorry, I didn't mean that. So, besides blowing your head off, what would be another good solution to fail-proof your radio link? More messy and expensive solution would be to go with the latest Alpha Sky products like Redundancy Bus or RB10. Redundancy Bus and RB10 would double your battery and receiver signals to get the most reliable system on board in terms of radio reception. But if you want to keep model weight low and spend less on your signal proof setup, you'd better go for the new RX-8R receiver. So what is it and how does it work? RX-8R looks very familiar if you used X-8R or X-6R before. It is almost the same and could be used as a conventional 16S bus and 8PWM channel as port with telemetry receiver and configured with the jumper similar to other X-series receiver. Same casing, size and almost the same weight. Some minor changes in PCB antenna design. They are no longer covered with plastics. But what's so new and the most important about it? It now has RX import instead of RSSI output, which performs RBUS functions and stands for connecting any slave X series as bus capable receivers or another slave RX 8R receiver to completely bolt proof your radio signal. Let me explain how it works. Option 1. Suppose you have one RX 8R and one X 8R receivers and you want your model to have the best radio signal reception ever. For this, you have to follow the next steps. First, using a jumper on channel 1 and 2 signal pins, configure your X8R receiver to have PWM output to channels 9 up to 16 and no telemetry. This is called mode 3 according to the manual. Bind it to the model on the radio and set desired failsafe position to channels 9 to 16. Second, with no jumpers on signal pins, bind your RX8R to the same model on the radio with telemetry enabled. This is called mod 5. Set the desired failsafe output for channels 1 to 16. Third, connect both receivers together with a server cable. Use as bus port on X8R and RX import on RX8R. Now, you have a redundant system that represents one receiver with 16 channels over as bus from RX8R and 16 PWM channels where first 8 come from RX8R and other 9 to 16 come from X8R receiver. Connect all your servers to PWM channels 1 to 8 on RX8R and 9 to 16 on X8R or connect your flight controller to a bus port of RX8R receiver and configure the model to do whatever you want. What will happen next and how such system setup behave? In this setup, RX8R is master receiver and X8R is a slave receiver. Master receiver would use its own signal as long as it can and would report RSSI figures down to the radio over telemetry channel. As soon as master would lose signal and report out of the limits RSSI value, it would start to use the signal of the slave receiver without interrupting all stated above channels functionality. This is called a redundant way of work. Master fails but it's taken the signal from slave receiver that still has a reception. Other situation could be described as following. In case if slave fails and master works, you'd lose the PWM channels from 9 to 16 and slave receiver would apply its failsafe values at those channels. If both receivers fail, they would both output the corresponding failsafe value. The only major drawback in such setup is that telemetry and especially RSSI values are reported only from the master RX8R receiver. So even when it fails, your model would stay controlled in the air by passing a relay signal from slave receiver to the master, but no telemetry and RSSI could be seen anymore. Another option is to get two RX-8R receivers connected together with only one cable. In this case, they would act exactly the same as described in case 1, when the slave receiver is used as a backup receiver for master. Or you can interconnect two RX-8R receivers with two cables in circles, and that would act it a bit differently. 
First, you no longer have as bus output to use with your model, only PWM. But even if slave receiver fails, it would still output PWM channels 9 to 16 using the signal from the master receiver, kind of two-way communication between your receivers. Still, the telemetry and RSSI is only available from your master. As you can see, the major drawback of this system is that you cannot have the telemetry and RSSI from both receivers. If you need this, you should go with more advanced options like redundancy bus for RB10. Now I want to show you a small test that covers the case 1. One RX8R and one X8R connected as master and slave and configured like I've mentioned before. I've taken two servers, connected them to channel 1 on master and channel 9 on slave receivers. I've also covered RX8R antennas with some foil to bring down the signal and to be able to eliminate it completely when I'd move to another room and cover radio antenna with my hand. I will have one camera recording receivers on servers behavior and another one to record RSSI warnings and signal loss on my radio. As you can see, the scenario 1 worked perfectly well. Whenever master loses signal, both servers continue to work because the signal is taken from the slave receiver that is still online and passed to the master receiver. That's enough for me now. I didn't conduct tests for other scenarios due to lack of time and absence of other RX8R receiver, but I think that it would work as expected. So finally, I hope that I've helped a bit in understanding new Sky RX8R receiver and what it's made for. Stay tuned, there would be some other reviews later.